Hello everyone! In this video, we'll quickly break down the rectus sheath, its structure, function, and key clinical points. Let's dive in. Rectus sheath. The rectus sheath is an aponeurotic sheath enclosing the rectus abdominis muscle and pyramidalis muscle if present. On either side of the linea alba, it is derived from the aponeuroses of flat muscles of the anterior abdominal wall. The functions of rectus sheath include checking the bowing of rectus abdominis muscle during its contraction and hence increasing its efficiency, maintaining the strength of the anterior abdominal wall. Features The rectus sheath presents anterior and posterior walls. The anterior wall is complete and covers the entire extent of muscle longitudinally, from the upper end to the lower end. The posterior wall is deficient above and below, and hence does not cover the entire extent of muscle longitudinally. Above it is attached to the costal margin, 7th, 8th, and 9th costal cartilages, and thus Muscle lies directly on 5th, 6th, and 7th costal cartilage. Below it presents a free curved margin with concavity facing inferiorly called arcuate line between the umbilicus and pubic symphysis. Below this level, muscle lies directly on the fascia transversalis. The anterior wall of rectus sheath is firmly adherent to the tendinous intersections of the rectus abdominis, whereas its posterior layer is free from the muscle. Contents The rectus sheath contains the following structures. Two muscles, rectus abdominis and pyramidalis. Two arteries, superior epigastric and inferior epigastric. Two veins, superior epigastric and inferior epigastric. Six nerves, terminal parts of lower six thoracic nerves, including lower five intercostal nerves and subcostal nerve. Applied anatomy, hematoma of rectus sheath. Sometimes the superior and inferior epigastric arteries are unduly stretched during a severe bout of coughing or in later months of pregnancy and ruptures if they are exposed to blunt trauma to the anterior abdominal wall, leading to the formation of hematoma within the rectus sheath. Clinically, it presents as midline abdominal pain tender mass confined to one rectus sheath, epigastric hernia, the linea alba, a midline fibrous rafe, is formed by the interlacing of aponeurotic fibers of three paired flat muscles of the anterior abdominal wall. It extends from the siphoid process to the pubic symphysis. Above the umbilicus, it is wider, about one centimeter, and below the umbilicus, it is very narrow. It becomes weak in elderly multiparous women and chronically ill children. When the intra-abdominal pressure is excessively raised, a small amount of extraperitoneal fat may protrude through the upper part of linea alba and eventually may drag behind it a small peritoneal sac, which may contain a portion of the greater momentum forming the epigastric hernia. Thanks for watching. If you found this helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more quick medical explainers. See you in the next one.